If you are pregnant or thinking of becoming pregnant, this message is for you. Hello, my name is Professor John Newnham. I am the 2020 Senior Australian of the Year. I'm speaking on behalf of the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists and as chair of the Australian Preterm Birth Prevention Alliance. I'm an obstetrician. I would like to talk to you about being pregnant at this time of the coronavirus pandemic, also known as COVID-19. This message will be coming to you at the same time each week until the pandemic has passed. It will be me presenting it, but if for any reason I am unable to do so, then someone will do it on my behalf. Our aim is to update you on the latest implications if you are pregnant or if you are thinking of becoming pregnant, on the things that may have changed and the things that have not. You may also write to us at any time using the college address shown at the end of this presentation. It is natural for any woman who is pregnant at this time to be anxious and to feel vulnerable. However, the information available to us so far continues to tell us that pregnant women do not appear to be more severely unwell if they develop COVID-19 infection than the rest of the population. Most who become infected can expect to experience nothing more than mild or moderate flu-like symptoms. These reassurances have been further confirmed by the recent data coming from the hospitals in New York, which is the current epicentre of the pandemic in America. But women with underlying health issues need to be particularly careful to avoid exposure. Be assured, most of our hospitals remain happy for you to have your partner or support person with you when you give birth. But most hospitals will thereafter restrict how long that person can stay with you. There will also be restrictions on visitors' numbers and the, and the duration of their visits. You can expect exceptions if you were to be unwell. And the evidence continues to suggest there is no increased risk of miscarriage if you are in early pregnancy, and if you're in late pregnancy, any risk of the virus crossing to the unborn baby appears to be small. There is still no evidence that COVID-19 infection causes preterm labour and the virus does not cross into the breast milk, so breastfeeding appears to be safe. But there is still much that we do not know about this viral pandemic and it is different from in previous years. So it is vital you continue to follow the instructions from our government, wash your hands frequently, Stay at home wherever possible and maintain your social distances. Don't forget to have your flu and pertussis immunisations. Keep a close watch on our various websites. But above all, stay positive. Look forward to you having a happy and successful pregnancy and giving birth to a healthy child. So far, Australians and New Zealanders are doing a great job at fighting this virus, but we cannot let our guard down. Thank you for playing your part, for yourself, for your family, and for our community. Thank you.